In this session, we're going to continue a legacy code kata. Um, by that, I mean a, the process of working with code that doesn't have tests and adding tests to them and then maybe reshaping the code. And we're going to be doing this in Swift. I'm focusing on an exercise uh, called trip service. Hi, my name is John Reed. I am a trainer and coach at Industrial Logic. Hello, Mudshark. And I'm the author of this, and you can find me here. Um, for folks who are watching, well, wherever you're watching this from, whether that's on Twitch or on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe or whatever the equivalent is for you. Uh, and yeah, just give it a click and see what happens. Let's see. Much shark looks like it's you and me. Maybe we'll see if other folks join, but for now, uh, to get uh, folks who are not present but watching after the fact acquainted, uh, this is the exercise we are going through called Trip Service. Uh, you can find this, a quick link to this, if you go to qualitycoding.org Swift Code Kata, where I have a, a few exercises, certainly not all of them, but some of them. And this is the function we're trying to wrangle or the, the class we're trying to wrangle, that it, it's a social networking service for travelers where you get to see um, where, where you are. Uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted by saying hi to Suigi. Um, um, you get to see uh, the trips that your friends are taking. And where we were in our tests, I'd start off, okay, we'd start off with a user not logged in, throws an error, a user with no friends, a user with a friend with no trips, and then we were starting to deal with a friend with trips. The API is kind of weird, but um, that's part of it being a legacy uh, code exercise. The design isn't necessarily great. Um, and here you are, Mudshark and Swiggy, right here in the comments, <laughs> uh, where we are, we're going to continue next time. Uh, oh, this time, that we wanted, we had a problem, and that was to add another friend, and this revealed a a shortcoming with our testable service where when it asks for the trips for the user it just returns whatever stubbed out without taking into account who is it and as it turns out a user can have trips so this is what we should do this was sort of a missing piece for us was that we should add the trips to the user. So that, that's a place to start. Um, before we move any further forward, we need to um, take our understanding and massage it into the existing stuff, which works, right? We, we're, we're green. Uh, I should make that a up a bit so you can see up above right there, a nice green check mark. And I'm using TCR. And I'm getting hot. Uh, getting warm, unusual. Hello to whoever else has joined. Welcome. Uh, do say hello in the chat. Ah, looks like those buttons are still not working. Okay. All right, so 
let's let's massage the tests and let's keep everything green if i i'm pretty sure that right now it will revert everything on yeah it does it there are no exceptions like if i make a mistake in tests it will revert them right now for example um Welcome, Didi Moi. Didi Moi. If I put in a bogus assertion there, it should revert it. Okay. Which puts us back into green. Welcome. Glad to have you. Um, uh, if you don't mind, you're somewhat anonymous, of course. Um, you know, what's your background, your interest, and your location in the world. Um, you don't have to share any of that, as much or as little as you want, but welcome. So, let's see. We want to change this so that it, it returns the trips, not the stubbed trips, but the trips for the user. So, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is take any place that is setting the stubbed trips and set those trips on the user. So where is our user? The friend, right? The friend probably already starts with uh, no trips. So that should be okay. Let's look at, I thought there was another one. That's it. Okay, so instead of setting this on trip service, let's set this on friend. I'm going to get rid of our comments from last time. Let's say friend add trip to Sweden and also to Japan. This will still pass. But now if I switch this to say return the user trips, it's uh, giving me a little warning there, but that uh, I don't need to worry about that. It's this funny uh, optional array and it's like, but you're not returning in something optional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over it. Okay, that still passes. So, I think I can get rid of stubbed trips now. Let's try it. If I remove that, there we go. And like that. Now, no users. Good. Hey, that cleaned up fairly easily. So, that's a friend with trips. We should have two friends. Or something like that. Let's see. Get trips by user. No. It is for a specific friend. I mean, it's it it's confusing this API. It's like there's you the term users tossed around, logged user. That's kind of gross. That's let's rename that to logged in. Logged in user. And I'll rename it here too. Every time I run tests, it is making a commit, which you can see right here. All right, so why isn't the friends also in the logged in users friends friend list? Don't follow. Um, we, w there was, we did struggle last time I recall with like, what does friendship mean? Um, and we, we had to piece out like, 
discover which direction it went. So it was kind of, maybe that's what's throwing you off there. So friend with no trips, friend with trips. Hmm. I wonder if there's another test we need. Let me check the coverage, even though coverage is a lie. Now you need a non-friend. Mm -hmm. I also want to make sure I'm actually... We need, we need somebody who's friends with more than one person. Friends with the logged in user and friends with somebody else. So let's uh, hide the coverage. This is, this is the process of puzzling out um, what to test is that coverage alone, 100% coverage is not sufficient. You need to look at an if and say, well, if it's an if, that's true or false, I need at least two true and false. If it's going to be a loop, I want at least two, not just, not just one and maybe zero. Like zero and two is a, is a good thing to check for, for looping. So we've done that. So a non-friend with trips. Let's see. User with no friends. get trips let's add to the dummy user here it's not exactly a dummy user but let's add a, a, tr a trip I think this will be like a trip to well, my favorite place to Japan this should still re return nil because you can't get at that person you're you're not a friend so dummy user is no longer accurate here. Let's think about that. Let's come down to here and let's add like somebody who's uh, friends with, with, or maybe we can do it right in here, you know? Let's do it right in here. This friend... Add friend user. Let's add the dummy user. Okay, I'm, I want to change um, dummy user to some uh, some rando. Um, someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and let's add someone else right so so the friend is friends with someone else and friends with user maybe is not a great name there this should be the logged in user let's Yes. There we go. Here it just resets it to nil. That's pretty clear. Um, here, someone else. Here, a friend with no trips. This is so small, I don't feel a need to separate it. I normally separate... Well, I don't normally. Actually, I, I should explain here a little bit. If a, if a test is really short, then it's clear that this is the assertion. Whoops. 
and this is the thing we need to do, uh, we're, we're checking. When it's when you have a little more than that, that I like to separate the arrange and the act in the assert sections. I used to do this given when then these this was good um a swift lit what's it what's it upset about um these were good training wheels for me but now then i discovered blank lines is enough so i think this is now pretty pretty well covered i feel pretty good about this um and let's move on to another phase of, of this. Now, one thing uh, Sandro, who created this uh, exercise, Sandro Mancuso, one thing he points out is that this is a very extremely simplified example. Normally, when you're dealing with legacy code, and uh, you may have experienced this in your own tests, not legacy stuff where you're writing, you're having to create this complex um, uh, uh, object graph. Maybe it's a deeply nested struct, you know, um, a, a really big tree, basically, or, or a graph. And having to do this um, sort of programmatically can be a pain. And it's easier and I've experienced this now on the project that I'm working on right now, uh, to use a construction builder, to use the construction builder pattern. Let's, let's experiment with that. I think it, it, it's a good example, um, and I'd, I'd like to give it a try. So where we currently have a logged in user that's just somebody we have what other users do we have we've got the someone else it's really the friend is the complicated thing we're doing add friend add friend um and maybe a couple of add trips again this example being so short it it doesn't matter as much, but let's uh I'll show you the coverage. Oh, well that is better. I think before we weren't seeing um we, we had a bit of yellow here, probably because we were blazing through one thing. I don't know. So that's looking pretty nice. So let's let's make a a friend a, a user builder and sort of experience what that's like. Um, and I want to swap out this friend for that. How to do this? Maybe the way to do it is down here. Let's create a user builder. And we're going to add friend or friends. Add friends where the friends are going to be someone else and logged in user. Okay. Some someone else and logged in user. And we're going to add trips to Sweden and Japan and then we're going to say build that. This is what I want, uh, and I want all this to be um, be like that. 
That's that's essentially what I want. Now, this is going to not work until we start constructing some of this. So let's create a user builder in a new file. This will go into the tests. We'll put it inside this level. Yes, it's a class. Yes, I want to add it to Git. And we want an add friends. That's not what I want. I want this to be var args. This is one of the best places to use a var arg. I think that's fine. And then add trips. Oh, the uh, the builder pattern. Uh, because it's it's like do this and do that it needs to return itself so it needs to return a, a user builder kind of like that why is it angry because i'm working in too many languages <gasps> I can't remember. I, I haven't. Sorry, I, I haven't been living in Swift for a while. Now we should be able to add that as a method. Yes. This is going to be trips. And I may want to change how this goes. I don't know. Add friends, add trips. We'll see. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm living in TypeScript. So this needs to return self. And actually, this can I'll, I'll, I'll we'll clear clear we'll clean this up as we go. And finally, it returns a build. Oh, this should, let me, uh, it didn't deduce this, even though the friend type is user. Hmm, shame, app code. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to deduce the type of this, but oh well. Oh, it did. I'm a dork. I don't know why it's coming in red. All right, so what we want to do <clears throat> with each of these is say, capture this as, man, man, self dot friends equals friends like that and put this in a property and here self dot trips equals trips we hold on to this Now this is, <clears throat> I've gone a long way without building. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm nervous. I'm going to turn off TCR for just a second. If you don't mind, I just want to see if it compiles. And it doesn't. Oh, 
That's why. This is... Probably trip like that. Still building. Okay, this needs to start as empty. There we go. I just wanted to make sure it built um, and I didn't lose it. So let's commit it. This is the uh, test only change. We're going to add this. This is a, a tip I've learned from uh, my colleague Paige Watson, colleague and friend Paige Watson at Industrial Logic. How to um, form a commit message. You know, most of this has been TCR, so it's, it, the, it's just been doing auto commits for me. But now I want to say um, the pattern he uses is when this commit is applied, it will something. And you say it will uh, add a skeleton of user builder. And then I have this notation to show that it's a test only change. And this is this is a very when when this commit is applied, it will blah um, is an is a helpful pattern and something we've been following on our team. All right, and then what this should do is create a new user. And for every friend, it should say, add that friend. And for every trip, trip in Scripts. I'm doing unnecessary code because I'm out of practice with Swift. It should say add that trip and then it should return the user. Something like that. Let's this is the rest of user builder. Uh, it, when this commit is applied, it will um, build user from user builder. Okay, so now let's turn TCR back on. Go back to our tests and let's see if this works. Kind of like that. It didn't revert it. Uh, it did commit it with a, a silly message there. I'm going to just rename that. There we go. Good. So this takes what basically what we're doing is this process of adding friends one at a time and and trips comes in as a var arc that is something that can take multiple items separate comma separated rather than being an array so instead of going being like saying I'm going to pass in an array of this and that, it just makes tests really read well to say 
just pass in, pass them all in, comma separated. It will build an array out of them and use that array. So that is our user builder. Let's clean it up a bit more. Um, the self dots are unnecessary, so I can remove those. The uh, we can be explicit. and say explicit about the builder pattern, that these things keep returning itself a class, so it's just the same thing, so that you can chain them together. Uh, when this commit is applied, it will... Does it reference the commit or the program? Um, hmm, I get your question. I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think we've debated about uh, what point of view we're taking on that. So, try it both ways. Maybe it doesn't matter. One well, nice thing about um, this style of message, regardless of, of the point of view of like, all right, what are we talking about here? Is that if you ever have to revert a commit, it will say uh, revert, uh, uh, revert add something something, or revert, um, uh, you know, uh, revert refactor, or revert implement uh, this or that. So it it makes it really helps uh, sort of keep the messages short, clean. Is there anything else to do here? Yeah, we don't need foundation. There we go. So the, oh, I don't need the init. So there we have it. That's a pretty nice um, builder. Like I said, it, ooh, let's, do we want add friends or do we want add Friends. I'll show you what I mean. And this would be better to see at the call site. Let's let's do it and and see how it looks. Instead of add, what I'm thinking is instead of add friends, it will be add where friends is. Here you can see it add friends the question is how will this look with commas and i don't like it i don't care for it as much um but that's why i tried it to do it at the call site to see what it looked like because from inside of here it makes sense but i'll always check things from your call site let's undo that Yeah. There we go. So, what else can we do? Um, the test... Uh, test is pretty clear. I'm not sure we need a whole lot of other things. Maybe the friend is the only thing that we need to really worry about building. And maybe... Uh, the friend now is something I should build wherever wherever we use it. So here, let's say we define the friend, but they have no no trips. Like that should still pass. Good. And now I think we don't need friend out at that level, out at the uh, the test fixture level. Let's make it wherever we are. So let me change this to. Oh my gosh, 
Wrong language. <laughs> and I wish, uh, it might look better. Might just read a little better like that. Reformat code. I'm trying. Where's Swore Swift Lint? <laughs> Adding const. Um, I'm going to keep that. And let's say. Kind of like that. Now we don't need the friend out at this level. Let's just kill it. Follow the red. Uh, oh, I, sh I mistakenly... I should have cleared it out, but I didn't. That's okay. And that should still be good. Okay. So I'm I'm staring at this because I'm appreciating uh, again how the uh, the construction builder pattern really works uh, well for creating a test that expresses things in I don't know it's 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 just nicer it, it feels more like it fits with the domain. And it makes the tests um, more fluent. Try this, maybe. Uh, and the next time you're working with um, a monster um, struct, yeah, this, is a, this wasn't even a monster. This is just a single little object. But... Um, uh, I have found this to be helpful for building up a complex graph. That's and and the fact that you have to do that is also a, a tip off that that's legacy code. Like having a having a piece of code that depends on a a crazy huge graph, that's probably not a great idea. But we when we're dealing with legacy code, we we have to live with, um, we have to work with what is, and then we get to what we wish it could be. So there we have that. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Now let's look at the trip service itself. Because it's got some grossness. I mean, it is a long method. It barely fits on the screen. It has a lot of indentation. This is one of the things that um, I scan for. I learn to just like not look at the code. Like if I go like this, oh um, no, I can still see it. Uh, if I cross my eyes, uh, no, if I stand back um, past my green screen and look at the code so far away that I can't read it, but I can see the shape of it. This is smelly. Indent. 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 And several lines and a whole lot of like in and out and in and out and another in and out. Um, so let's start working on this. Yeah. By the way, hello, we've got a few more folks who have joined. Um, welcome. Say hello in the chat if you're if you're lurking, if you're just dropping by. Um, uh, it's always fun for me. Even if you're just passing through, that's that's fine. Check it out. 
So let's start refactoring. Let's start making this into something better. Um, this is peculiar. It takes the logged in user, which may or may not exist. It says, ah, let's try this. Let's, let's go with Mudshark's suggestion. Let's see if we can't make it a guard clause. In fact, this formatting is weird. Let me reformat this. Yeah, or maybe not. Maybe just by making it a guard clause, we can do this. Let's see if we can't replace if with guard. Ooh. Already better. I'm going to run the tests and it commits. That is better. That reduces the indentation by, and, and one of the um, tips for like ifs is, uh, I mean, uh, we shouldn't see else's except in guard clauses. Like we should just have guard clauses up at the top and you can have ifs, but try not to have else's. So that's good. Uh, is friend is used way down here. Let's move this down. Trip list. Trip list isn't used till way down there. So this is the process of moving, uh, moving variables closer to where they're used. In it's not uncommon, maybe maybe less common these days, but uh, in in the olden days when people were really used to having to declare all variables at the top, uh, it was natural for them to cluster at the top far away from where they were used. So that's better. Now, friendship. It's getting asking the user for its that is the logged in user. Get trips by user. Okay, so this is confusing. Who, who is this user? This is the friend. I'm going to rename this. Uh, it's not, no, it may or may not be a friend. Okay, so this is somebody else. The current user is me. The This is somebody else. So it's asking, hey, somebody else, give me your friends, and then I'm going to go over them and see if I'm in that list anywhere. This is a kind of smell um, called feature envy, where we shouldn't be asking the user, give me your friends. Also, this is this is like a primitive obsession um, to say, let me let's just loop over things. The example that my, my friend Paige gives is when we're at a restaurant and we want to split the bill, um, I don't ask you for your wallet and then look through your wallet and pull out the money that I need. Instead, I tell you how much uh, it, it's up to how much is your responsibility, and it's up to you to pay it. So this is kind of like that. Instead of me asking for whatever rando this is, give me your friends, and I'm going to loop over them to see if I'm in that list. We should reverse it and say am I friends with, or user, like, um, yeah, some, some, something different, like, uh, I'll just express it right here real quick. We should ask the user, uh, is friends with the current user? 
like that. That's what we're missing. So this is a case of the, the code is in the wrong place, the responsibility is in the wrong place. Refactoring. We look up in the back of the book, uh, smells, feature envy, 77. And the, the common refactoring for feature envy is move function. Um, so essentially we want to move this in there. Let me take a look, quick look at move function to see, uh, well, it's, it's kind of like extract and move. I wonder if there's a way we can do this by extracting it. Like, can I extract all this to a method? And it does look like it. Try to do this in Xcode, y'all. Um, app code. I salute you um, on your deathbed. Uh, app code uh, has gotten better about its refactoring and about its extractions um, because people like me uh, are were able to submit um, uh, requests. Say, you know, when when it does this, it should it should figure this out, and you could actually track the requests. Um, and they got better and better. So let's ex let's do an extract where we pass in kind of what we want. So this is like is friends with and this is going to be current user kind of like that. And it returns a bool. Uh, then it becomes much more evident about, about where, how to move this. Okay. So that, that should, that's an automated refactoring. It should pass. Great. The next step is to move this. Now in the other, uh, JetBrains IDEs, I would just take this function and I would hit F5 and I would move it or command F5 or something and say, I want to move this into the user um, class. Unfortunately, there is no such thing for Swift. There is for Objective-C. So we have to do this uh, by hand. Move, move function 198. Let's follow the steps. If you live without app code, I encourage you to live by this because this the steps for things that you can't do automatically are broken down safely in here. Move function, examine all the program elements used by the chosen function, consider where they should if they should move to. Now just just that one. Check if it's polymorphic. Nope. Copy the function to the target context and adjust it to fit in its new home. That's what we need. So let's take this and go to user. And I'm going to paste it at the bottom. And I'm going to make it non-private. Now, every place where it's user, it should really be self. So let me let me take everything in here and do a search for user matching the case and the word. And I'm just going to say, let's replace that with self. Get rid of this. Nothing is calling this yet. This is just a pasting in. And this is now current user is, is friends with the user. So nothing is calling this, but if this compiles, it should commit. 
now I should be able to say, let's see, copy the function, adjust it to fit in its new home, perform static analysis, uh, figure out how to reference the target from the source. Uh, so this, we already have the user here. Turn the source function into a delegating function. So I should be able to say, user is friends with current user. Oh, I'm going to have to clean that up. So I believe this will still pass. Let's try it. Cool. So I don't like this is friends with user current user. Whoops. Mm, let's make this an internal name like that. And now I can go back. Now this is, um, oh, test. And the last step, consider inline function. So now I can inline this. And it did a little bit of jiggering around to account for names, but let's just take it because that should still pass. And now I should be able to say uh, user one. Is anything using user one? Current user, logged in user. Okay. So I should be able to inline this. I don't think, I think this is noise. Yeah, never used. And now is friend. Let me inline that. That's looking better and better. You if user is friends with, then return the trip list. Otherwise, you get nothing. Hmm. This is looking much better, isn't it? I'm I'm really pleased at how quickly this cleaned up and how much of, of it I was able to do thanks to app code. And so this is my um, sort of advertisement for folks who are not used to life outside of Xcode, that there are powerful tools and I'm appealing to anyone in Apple, but also to the open source community um, to uh, work on adding, creating refactoring tools that people can use outside of app code. I want to be able to do stuff like this uh, and, and move quickly. Uh, this is now kind of, kind of, uh, funny. I want to, uh, Here's what I want to do. I'm repeating myself because it's already nil. But now I should be able to set it to a to a let even. And now let's see if we can't. Uh, here, I thought it was going to offer a, uh, what you call it, um, you know, where you do the question. I'm, I'm forgetting my words here. Um, I'll show you. Let me do this first. Let's just get rid of that. Right? Smaller, smaller. Now will it let me? Here we go.
How's that? Logged in user. Now this is only used here. Let me let me inline this. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> and I got the mud shark uh, uh, seal of approval there. Look at this now. Guard. We're trying to access the current user to get the logged in user. And if we can't, we're out of there. Otherwise, return. If the user is friends with the logged in user, return the trips for, oh, trips for user user. I don't like that. Let's say trips for user. Now, what all did it change in this? Let's just let me review this. Yeah, changed uh, the actual call, but it also changed. Or is that it? Maybe that's it. Okay. Let me. Sorry about that. Let me get back to where I was and commit that. I'm just trying to make it read better. Trips for user. If user is friend, friends with logged in user, then return the trips for user. Otherwise, nothing. Uh ha ha. Liking this. All right, and that is about it um, for an hour's worth of coding, which I try to limit my sessions so that it's not a burden on you to watch and it's not a burden on me to make because I'll go off now and live the rest of my day. Um, but I think we are not done because to make... Um, well... To make this, we had to extract these edges where it calls out to the trip uh, data access. What's DAO? Data access something. Um, or here it calls out to the user session. That's not a great design, right? We boxed it off. Um, yeah, data access object. We, we boxed it off by extracting these methods and overriding them in the, in the testable trip service. But that's not a great design. Um, it's just like safely off to the side. In fact, you can see that from our coverage that they're not covered. We're just overriding those. So those are things that should be passed in. And maybe next time we'll look at uh, how to do that. All right. Um, that is it for today. Thank you for joining. If you have watched this far on whatever service you are using, please subscribe and uh, or whatever the equivalent is. Give it a like. Um, whatever. And uh, I don't want to leave off without mentioning how there is underneath all this fun there's a heaviness uh to my day hey psychic hmm oh and thank you yasun timure for the follow thank you so much uh america is plagued by violence i didn't grow up in this country I grew up in one of the safest countries in the world, and it is just bizarre here. And the violence is inflicted by by people on civilians on each other, and it is inflicted by the police. I want to uh, say that we can do better, and the solutions are maybe not complex, uh, but they require courage, 
and they require reshaping, examining our humanity, our spirituality, our, our um, sense of community, and responsibility to each other. America is uh, too fond of putting self over community. Let's put, let's, let's live in communities together. That's what we have to do anyway. All right. Uh, so uh, next week, I will not be here. Um, family's going to be in town. So I won't be streaming. I'll see you in two weeks. Thank you again for watching and uh, get out there and work on some legacy code. Take care.